Today I'm going to try and make my way through uh, a bunch of these plaques. Getting a late start of the day today, so I want to really uh, knuckle down and get in. If I have time, I'm going to show you how I uh, do the marbling technique. I think it's pretty neat and very simple. In the meantime, actually got to make a, another applique. Twelve seconds later. They said I was dead, but I guess they lied. All right. Another one down. Since I lost my head, I've been running out blind. Okay, got another one done. It'd be nice if everybody had names like this. <laughs> Instead I get names like F***ing Dan Canyon. Alright, yesterday when I began this, I painted the lettering first and filled it in and then went over it with the brush with the uh, black. Gave it the uh, base coat. I'm, today I'm going to do it a little bit differently because I'm going to try and make it uh, a lighter color marble this time. So, I'm going to paint the entire thing white, and I'm actually going to try gold lettering. But we'll get to that in a minute. I'm going to make sure I get the paint in all the uh, crevices. Because you just don't want any of the pink foam showing through underneath. So that's why you want to fill in these holes. I had seen Jason Becker actually use an uh, air hose <laughs> to get uh, all the paint out of these letters. That's pretty cool, but I don't feel like going out to the garage right this second and firing up my compressor. Okay, you can still see the paint through here. So you wanted a solid color. So I'm gonna help speed up the drying process. dry enough for the touch now, I can put another coat on top of this. Just going to try and make sure the letters are as clear and open as possible. Alright, let's go do some marbling. Okay, I just sprayed that on there and I'm going to give it a minute to dry up. And I'm going to go back over it with white to get rid of that uh, gold on top. All right. I actually like the gold lettering, but I'm going to need to come up with a different way of doing it because even with the two coats of uh, white paint on it, when I sprayed the gold on, maybe I sprayed it too heavily, but it still kind of ate into the uh, letters a little bit. And then going back over with the paint again, it kind of messed up the letters. So I'll end up having to redo this at some point. Right? But you can see how it chewed up the letters a little bit. It actually sunk it down a little bit here. And when I went back over to cover up the gold, it, it filled in. So I might have to actually spray some of that gold paint into a cup and then just use a fine brush and go over it. That might be the best bet. But for now, <clears throat> as a test, this uh, this will be fine. So the process or the technique that I'm going to use is called hydro dipping. And basically, you take a big pan or bucket of water and you use spray paint. Spray paint on top of the water. Just swirl it around a little bit and then slowly dip this in. And you get that marbling effect. So what I'm going to use in this is a little bit of black, a little bit of gray, and actually just a dash or two of gold. Now when they show you on uh, the videos on YouTube, they want you to fill up this whole thing with color so that you're coating the entire uh, piece of work that you're gonna be dipping in here with paint. Since I've already applied a base coat, I'm not doing that. 
And I'm just going to take my, a screwdriver and try and just move this around a little bit. You definitely want to get wear gloves with this because the paint will stick to your hands and it doesn't wash off. Now I'm going to take this and just slowly dip it in. Bring it back out. And there it is. And the neat thing about this, instantly dry. So there was too much paint really congregated in one spot. So you want to have it so that it can uh, spread out over the entire thing. But that's uh, the technique. And like I said, with the lighter uh, background, I actually think I do like the gold paint. I'm going to need to work on that and how I'm going to do it. But need a little more practice. So the second skeleton is dry from the stain that we did yesterday. So I'm going to put him away. Another prop done. Although I consider that attempt with the marbling largely a failure, just because there were a lot of problems that developed uh, along the way, I learned enough about what I need to do now that I think future attempts should be better. I know not to spray the gold paint on there, use a paintbrush to uh, paint it in, and I know not to use very much paint in the bucket. And I think if I follow those kind of general guidelines, I think that'll uh, improve the look of it. But one question I have to ask, what do you think is better, the dark colored stone or the light colored stone? To a certain extent, I think dark would be good with the, uh, the overall theme of the haunt, but a lighter color marble might, well, it would obviously stand out a lot more, but it might provide some uh, good contrast too. But it might provide too much contrast. So, let's get your opinion on what you think uh, would be uh, optimal for that. Dark marble, light marble. Maybe I should try a gray too, see what that looks like. Okay, if you like what you see, give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. That way you'll be notified right away when I post other videos just like this. Hopefully future ones will be a little bit more of a success. Okay, thanks for watching. Here's my gloves. Of course I don't have my gloves handy here.